Did you see? Well, I can't say did you see. Have you had a chance to avoid seeing the fight between Chris Rock huh. and Will Smith? Well, I, I saw everything that yeah. happened. I mean, how could you? When you how saw the you know? word Will trending, you're like, what's up? I know. I'm like, fine. They know about my engagement. You know? What's going on? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So Everyone's on board about it. Here's a question. Here's a question I got for you. And then, you know, I want to get your thoughts and then I'll get mine as well. So it, it, was it your position for first time when you saw it? Has it been the same from the first moment to now? Or has it gone, I can't believe what he did? Well, it kind of does make sense because of Jada. Oh, but you know what? I can't believe... What, where are you at with what happened with Will Smith and Jada? My opinion has always kind of been the same on all these kind of things when I watch celebrities do stupid stuff at the Oscars or whatever it is. And for me, I personally just don't care much. I think that people blow a lot of these things out of proportion. And to me, it's just not something that I'm ever super interested in. I leave celebrities and to other people. But what it seems like in terms of the whole situation... I don't think Will Smith was justified in doing it, but I can understand that as a husband, you get angry when someone says something, but you don't lash out in that type of way. I mean, it just seems childish and immature to go up there and slap someone, especially like an open hand slap, like not yeah. even a punch. You slap that's a like bitch a, slap, right? Yeah, that's what that's called. Slap, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not like a manly punch. It's a slap, yeah. which makes it even worse. Yeah, it makes it even worse. I mean, uh, uh, Diaz brothers. They're famous for fighting guys in UFC and saying, I bitch slap you. So they Nick like to Diaz, do that Nick too. Diaz. Oh, have you ever seen this or no? Yeah, a little bit. There's videos of all they want to do is slap you in your face in the fight. Okay, not a punch <laughs> to slap you because they get a kick out of it. But what are your thoughts when you saw this? But by the way, just, just before I even say this, Jim yeah. Carrey, did you see what Jim Carrey said? What did Jim have to say? So Jim Carrey says uh, a day ago, the video's got like 10 million views. Jim Carrey says, I can't believe. The Oscars did a standing ovation for Will Smith. If it was me and you did that, I would sue you the next day for $200 million. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that or no? He said, I'm going to sue yeah. you for $200 million. On top of that, he says, because that video is going to last a lifetime. This is permanent. You're going to get $200 million lawsuit from me the next day. That's what Jim Carrey said, who's yeah. a comedian going after Will Smith. What's your position? Let here? me tell you something. Uh, you would think, story, somebody slaps the shit out of somebody else, whoever it is. You would assume, like the Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, whoever did the slapping won, and whoever got their face bitch slapped would have lost. Let me tell you who the big winner in this the whole situation is, Chris Rock. Let me tell you guys, I used to do stand-up comedy for many years, okay? Before Dave Chappelle, there was Chris Rock. People, like, I don't know if you're, you're 25, I don't know if you really know how big Chris Rock was in the 90s, early 2000s. Everyone knows about Dave Chappelle these days. Now it's kind of moved from Chappelle to, like, Kevin Hart, and there's other people out there. Chris Rock was the man. And he's gotten a little softer, a little older, a little more Hollywood, more acting. When he did, like, um, his, uh, what was it, Blacker? What? Dude, you're talking about gangster-ass comedy, Chris Rock. So this was the best possible thing for his career. You can see the ticket sales have gone from, yeah, like, $45 right. yeah, show this up. minimum for a ticket to, like, 400 bucks. Chris Rock is trending. For all the right reasons. And the guy took it like a G, like just, I, I thought this was fake. I thought this was planned. I thought this was staged. Folks, if you're watching this, if, yeah. if you listen to this podcast, how many of you thought this was fake at first when you saw it? When your friend texts it to you, your yeah. reaction, I think Sam texts it to me. I'm like, this got to be fake. And he's like, no, it's not fake. So Mario and I played the video on, yeah. you know how on YouTube you can go to 0.25 speed? Of course. You played on 0.25 You're... speed. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I think <laughs> I think him. we should bring our friend Paul in here, reenact <laughs> the bitch slap. Let Will do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, bring him in. Bring him in. <laughs> yeah, we well, have Paul here. Yeah, yeah. Gets okay, so Chris Rock is the big enemies. winner here. Notoriety. Yeah. Uh, Financial, yeah. Right. Um, headlines. Well, he just handled it like a man. He handled it. He's like, yeah, he's like, that's the greatest moment in Oscars history. Yeah, he laughed okay. at it. But now let's talk about Will Smith. Will Smith has been getting emasculated for the past year or two by his fucking wife that he's been married to for 25 years. This whole entanglement, red table yeah. talk that they're doing, insanity. Will Smith was the coolest, baddest dude on the planet for two decades. From well, from Fresh I Prince. I don't know if you're right. I don't from, know if there's an actor that was loved and uh, loved is the word more than him. Yeah, yeah. From from Fresh Prince. Yeah. To Men in Black. Yeah. To Independence Day. Yeah. To Ali, you know, to Bad Boys. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Don't forget and Hancock. Now, you got you got to put Hancock. Hancock. I mean, all that. I mean, the list goes on and on. I'm sure there's going to be someone that's like Adam forgot about this movie and I hate him. Okay, I got it. Hitch. Hitch. Yeah. Right. Dating. I am legend. Like he needs. <laughs> Thank He's you. Still go. Yeah. Pursuit of happiness. Like he needs, all of it. Okay, we got it. We got it. 
Chris Gardner, Pursuit of Happiness. He needs to go back and watch the movie that he freaking started yeah. called Hitch. Because he's lost his mojo. That, like, the, the whole bitch slap with Chris Rock, this has been brewing for years. You think he actually cares about this joke? He laughed at first. Yeah, he laughed. She ended up laughing at first. I feel like this was just boiling up, boiling up. His, I mean, do you know about this whole red table talk entanglement, course, August, of course, Agu- of Augustus, course, whatever? Of His wife is literally having an affair, cheating on him with the son's friend. Yeah. And now you're wor- like, like a, it was August Alsina. Thank you, John. And now this is him. Fix your audio, like, John. Seriously. But he's dad bod, simp vibes. It just, I feel so bad for him. Think about even before this, years and years ago, the transition that Willow has been going through, yep. that his son has been going through. Like, this this family is strange. Will was the only normal guy. Is the there a more years years Hollywood years. family out there? The father, Hollywood star. Jada, I know you have strong feelings on Jada. The kids, uh, Jaden. And Willow, two of my favorite songs in the last five years have been from the Smith Kids. Yeah, the song "Wait a Minute." Exactly, love that song. Icon from Jaden. Like they put out, they they're great. They're yeah. very talented. No doubt. I mean, you live in LA, you know yeah. about like they're talented right. as hell. But whatever is going on with this whole entanglement has just Joe's so clearly have a, been bearing it down yeah. low, and it exploded at the Oscars. And then he won the Oscar. I have a different opinion about Go ahead, this. sir. So, first of all, like, okay, who won? You're right. Chris Rock won. And I think Jada won. I think feminist movement won. I think women power won. I think those who give that message, I think they won. You have to give them credit. They won. Like, women are, you know, stronger than men. And look at how Jada is very proud. She's a face of feminism if mm-hmm. you think about it because she's got him locked down right um you know who i am you know how i feel about jada three years ago um, i don't know what it was two and a half years ago hector del toro and jennifer teamed up together right after the event they had at the uh, uh, trump tower they had an event to, they had a hooked up and they sent me the uh, jada pinkett autograph picture and it was in my office do you remember this or no, no jada pinkett autograph this. is sitting on my desk right to the left and they come like, oh my God, Pat, you got put this picture away. I'm like, put this picture away. Jennifer was up to this with Hector. What do you mean, put this picture away? So sitting on my desk because I grew up with Jason's lyric, okay? And lyric is Jada Pinkett in the movie with one of the best soundtracks that I can go and tell you the songs yeah. in the soundtrack, but I'm not going Tupac. to. Tupac. No, no, no. J- J- you're thinking about uh, you're thinking about with uh, uh, poet, uh, Janet uh, Jackson. Uh, That's yeah, poetic yeah, justice. No, I'm saying, but but I'm talking Jason's lyric. They used to date, is what I'm saying. Of course, Jada yeah, so, and Tupac. So, so, so I'm a J- I'm a Jada guy. I grew up being a Jada guy. I always loved Jada, right? So, and I've always loved Will. So the fact these guys took that was kind of a cool story. Now, yeah. one of my friends, 20 plus years ago, um, she would come to me and she would say, "You know, I know the Will Smith and I know Jada's story and I know them very well." I said, "Really? Yeah." And she would say stories. And I'm in L.A. 20-some years. She would say, well, let me tell you. You know, you know they have an open relationship. And they have this and they have that. I'm like, it's none of my business. No, they, but they do. I'm like, everybody says stuff. And the moment you become a celebrity, people say a lot of th- different things. And you can't believe half this stuff. No, but I know it personally. How do you know it personally? I'm just, I can't tell you. But I know it. And she kept being very adamant. Like, you know, somebody's very adamant. And yeah. they don't have a trend of being like that. But this one time, they're extremely adamant. Like, okay. And this is bro, a friend of yours, This colleague? is a friend, I, you know, okay. 20 years ago. And... I'm listening to her. I'm like, okay. He says, but you also realize they're like open with everything with their marriage. It's mm. just a very private thing. Now, this is a time that there's no social media. There's no Facebook. There's no Twitter. There's no Instagram. So it's easier to have that kind of a relationship in Hollywood. And right. they're not the only ones that's having a that relationship. Yeah, so, sure. so imagine this thing's going on. All these years, they have an open relationship. All of a sudden, all the open relationships you've had, let's just say hypothetically, none of them have come out. It's all been private. But this one guy brings it out. August, you know. Yeah. And the next thing you know, oh, my gosh, you know, Will is a simp, Will is this, Will is that. I believe Will is sitting there saying, I wish you guys knew how many people I've been with the last 25 years that none of you guys know about that. I've been behind Jada, and Jada took her career in the backseat for 12 years for me to go on my career. And she was popping out one point, and she sacrificed it for the kids. You guys don't know how much I've played around for the last 25 years. But I kind of can't tell you guys on TV because I will look like an idiot if I do, and I'm going to make Jada look bad. So. I don't think we know the whole story, and I think Will is sitting there saying, you idiots that are saying all this stuff you're saying about me, you don't notice. It's starting to really piss me off, and he reacted. That reaction was very deep. That's my opinion. I may be wrong. I may not be right with this. Uh, I think you're you're very right. But you know what I'm saying, right? I think deep down inside, Will is, 
a man's man. Yeah. But I think Will has also got that conservative side because his dad left. You know that one scene in uh, uh, the famous scene with uh, Uncle uh, yeah, Uncle The last Pearl. scene of the show. Yeah, you know what scene yeah. I'm talking yeah. about. Like, oh, my gosh, that was not acting. And he's like crying yeah. like, dude, I just got the chills. Yeah. This dude ain't acting. His right. dad, yeah. like, he's personally experiencing this, right? Will is a guy that many men in America relate to. I just think he... Um, I think Hollywood life is a very different kind of a life to try to make marriage, personal life, conservative, all this stuff work. It's so confusing to mm -hmm. be in it. You have to play certain cards to get certain jobs, to stay relevant, to get the $20 million per film. You have to listen to your publicist. You can't use this word. Be careful with this audience. Those guys said this to you. Now you're doing social media. Now you're making your own YouTube. Try not to touch this. It's such a big mess that he's going. He's trying to keep his yeah. marriage together. But if I can give advice, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm in that situation, do you know what I think is the best thing for them to do? What? To get a divorce. I think that's the best you, thing for them. You actually think that's what should happen? I think happen. that's the right thing they should do. I think they should get a divorce and move on. I mean, uh, if, they're already, yeah. if they're already sleeping around with other people, you practically have a divorce at this point. I mean, that doesn't make a good marriage whatsoever. Well, let's say they've been this. doing it for 25 years, dude. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, they should... In my opinion, you shouldn't be getting together with someone in the first place for appearances or whatever. I mean, yep. as marriage, you know, to me as a Christian, as a, a holy thing, getting together with someone like that and then having affairs all the time with all sorts of other people. I mean, especially what you were just talking about with – I think there's a difference between men versus women. That if a, a man goes and sleeps around with other women, it isn't looked at as bad. But a woman who does it despite her man yeah. makes a man look a lot worse just because of the differences between the two. So that's why people would call Will Smith a simp. Yeah, but but I don't I don't know if he okay. A lot of people call him a simp. It's easy to call him that right, right. now. I mean, you had role. You know who? I don't know who Fresh you. Fresh and fit. Yeah, and they like, yeah, he's a simp. He's this. Like they may be right. I don't know if they're right or not. But you know, like everybody was trying to say who Tiger was, okay, and what Tiger did. Oh, mm -hmm. 16 this, and you know he went through this, and I don't I don't buy his apology. It's not sincere enough. First of all, before you judge Tiger, why don't you go become the best golfer in the world? Okay, I mean, I read this book, the Bible, that said what? He says, before you throw stones, you know, kind of check yourself out a little bit. And I subscribe to that. I've never liked people who judge. I grew up in an environment that was very judgmental. I try to say, listen, to each his own. I've been married 12 and a half years. I, I take it one year at a time. Love my wife. We got a good marriage. We got four healthy kids. We've had a great life. Some people want to live a different lifestyle. I get it. But I don't think the whole world knows the whole story. I think mm -hmm. everybody is speculating. And in reality, I think Chris did win. Uh, I think Will is looking extremely weak. And I think Will's got to make a move. You know how they used to say to J-Lo, hey, uh, your, your Q, Q score was higher when you were with Ben Affleck. Okay? Because you know in the Hollywood marriages, it's, it, it pays to be married to the right person. Like you better right. believe Kanye mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, that was through like E! News. Like, yeah, I mean, the deal. that's like a good Hollywood marriage. Yeah, You're married to Beyonce. Not, I'm not, not Kanye. And, yeah, Kanye and Kim, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm talking and Beyonce. Yeah, that's so I think, yeah. I don't know. I think if they get a divorce, like, listen, guys, like uh, Bezos, the husband and wife, the way they got a divorce was very clear. We love each other. We've been together for 25 years. Yeah. This just didn't work out. We still love our family. We still love our kids. We have our own reasons, but we have decided to go a different way. We still respect each other. And everybody's like, and they tweeted it same second. I don't know if you remember this. It came out same time. You're like, yeah. uh, 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 everybody moved on. Okay? It was kind of like, move on. I think they got to do something like that. Well, let Maybe me, they let do me a red, red table, whatever it is, and say, red table talk. we have an announcement to make. We love each other. We love our kids. Here's what we're doing. Let me tell you why you're absolutely right and one thing that I think you're wrong about. I think you're absolutely right that Will's been doing his thing for 20-something years. Are you freaking kidding me? If he wasn't playing around doing things like this, you think he's going to accept? If he's been faithful for 25 years and his wife has this entanglement, she used that word. She was having a full-on relationship with this guy. And he's embarrassed by this. If you think he was just being a choir boy this whole time and he's allowing this to happen, you're out of your mind. So I 100% agree with you that he's been doing his own thing on the side, whatever. Like, he's a G, bad boys for life type of thing. Where I think you're wrong is the divorce thing. I think if they were going to get a divorce, it would have been two years ago at this point. I think like they've been through hell and back and this, whatever's happening right now is just making their bond stronger because the world is against you're them. You're saying this point. I'm wrong. It won't happen. Or you're saying I'm, I'm saying wrong, I don't it's think not that, the right move. I, I just don't think all, all that. I don't think it's happening. I don't think they will do so it. You don't think it's I would have divorced right her move. years ago. But, but, but wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. You don't think it's the right move today for both of them mutually to agree to move on. I don't. Okay, and why is that? I just think at this point they're 
fixed in together. Now, if if I were Will, I would have divorced years ago. And no, it's like two screwed up yeah, people yeah. who are just exactly. You know, what are you like, gonna do? It's like two alcoholics. They're just gonna stay together. Don't and be like drink and drink when it together. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.